due to popular demand are my monthly favorite videos. I did one a couple of months ago, but now I'm going to be doing one every single month where I talk to you, I share with you my top travel gadgets and things and stuff that makes me really happy that has to do with travel that I'm kind of obsessed with. Let's get started. My first favorite that I'm going to be sharing with you is this watch. It's like a traveler's dream watch. It's beautiful. I came across this watch a couple of years ago when I was browsing online and I was on Urban Outfitters and I saw it and I was like, oh my god, must have it. So I went to the shop and I tried to get it and they were sold out. So I was like, you know what? There's still hope. So I went over to Urban Outfitters in person and I looked for this watch and I couldn't find it. And I went to the store clerk and I was like, where is the travel watch? And they're like, oh, we don't have those anymore. We're not selling them. And I was like, what? How dare you do that to me? Such a tease. And a couple of months ago, I was walking through Urban Outfitters and what did I see? This watch. It was meant to be. We found each other, finally. So now we're best friends and we travel the world together and it's just so cute. It's so cute. It's pretty affordable and it's, it has a map on the back of it. It's just, it couldn't be any more perfect. My next favorite is this silk liner. Sometimes when we're traveling, we end up in hostels or hotels that aren't on the cleanest side. So it's nice to have something like this to give you some extra cleanliness and some comfort when you sleep. I also love this because personally, when I'm sleeping, I like to have a blanket. I like to have something covering me. I just feel, I feel weird and it's harder for me to sleep if I don't have a blanket or something covering my feet and my body. Because it's made of silk, when you're sleeping in hotter climates, it actually keeps your body cool. So you can still have something wrapped around you and not be sweating buckets like you would if you had something made of cotton wrapped around your body. Not only does this keep your body cooler during the hotter nights, but it's like more of a luxurious sleep you'll have because well, there's just something about sleeping in silk that makes you feel a little luxurious. I got this silk liner at Mech. It cost me $130, which is more on the expensive side, but I still think it's worth the investment for travelers that will be staying in hostels or cheaper hotels. My next travel favorite of the month is this medical kit. I had another medical kit and it lasted me like seven years, but I thought it was time to buy a new one and you know, stock up on supplies because it's very important to have a medical kit as a traveler. You never know what's going to happen when you're on the road. It could be something as simple as a blister, it could be a cut, a scrape, or even something more serious, let's hope not, fingers crossed. But just in case, it's really handy to have a medical kit. Not just for yourself, but as well as other people that you may encounter who may need it. This medical kit is super light. It's compact, so I can just throw it in my carry-on bag and it won't take up much room. It's got an airtight seal. It is waterproof, leak-proof. So even if my bag and my stuff in my bag gets wet, including this guy, my medical supplies will not. It's got everything from a bunch of different bandages to gauze, you got duct tape, elastic bandage with Velcro, safety pins, folding scissors, afterbite wipes, antiseptic wipes. I got this baby at Mountain Equipment Co-op. It cost me $25 Canadian, not bad. My last favorite of the month goes to this book here called The Happiness of Pursuit. Not The Pursuit of Happiness, The Happiness of Pursuit. Basically summing this book up, it reveals that anyone can bring meaning to his or her life by undertaking a quest. So that means having a big goal, a big picture, and doing whatever it takes to get there. And it's that process along the way that makes people happy. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to take an epic, crazy adventure around the world, which would be pretty damn awesome and I highly recommend it, but even if not, it can be like a, a physical or mental journey. Everybody has a dream, whether it's to travel the world and go to every single country in the world, or it's to become an actress and be in a movie on the big screen one day. Everyone has a dream and it's about pursuing that dream, doing whatever it takes to get to that big 
goal, that big picture that you can vision. And this book will inspire you to do just that. If you're looking for a little bit of motivation or inspiration, this book will give it to you. It will have you packing for that crazy adventure or coming up with a list of how you can reach that end goal. It's, it's extremely inspiring, and again, I recommend everybody pick it up. And that's it for my December favorites. I will leave links to everything that I talked about in the description box below for you. And I wanna know what have been your favorites for the last month or two. Let me know in the comment box below. And I will see you next time. Happy travels. She likes my nose ring. <laughs>